Okay, so here's the question. How much do you know about Camera Raw? It's a really, really great tool to use in between Bridge and Photoshop non-destructively. So let's dive in, take a look, and see what you can do with Camera Raw. All right, I am in Bridge now, and I have a um, pretty good assortment in this particular folder of different uh, file types. And uh, we're going to go through and see which ones work for us. Typically, most of them will. But um, for starters, what I want to do is just give you a reminder, all of your icons up here, if you noticed, everything's grayed out. But once I click on an image and select that, I now have my camera raw little aperture icon available to me. And um, the other way you can get to camera raw is to right click, but it's a lot of extra work. And you have to do a selection over here. So your choice, one or the other, but I'm gonna use the aperture icon for now. Most of the time you might get a little welcome to bridge and you just hit continue and it'll bring you into the basic workspace. So if you see bridge is sitting in the background and camera raw interface kind of overlays, you can make it bigger here if you want and hide all of the clutter um, or you can make it smaller pretty darn easy lots of tools across the top here and lots of different areas to work on your images and do uh, development so for starters what you really need to know is how to save snapshots in camera raw so before I do anything, I'm going to click on the icon here, snapshots, nothing's present, go down, click on the little curled paper, make a new snapshot. And for basics, I'm not going to rename it, but you can if you want. They will go ahead and sort alpha or numerically. So I'll just leave it untitled one for now and say, okay. So my untitled one is no edits. When I'm done with that, I need to go back to the basic button and then I can start doing development or make changes to it with either set of tools. So you can see the really, really um, big difference. I'm gonna change the color profile on this and let's see, let's just make it vintage 03. And now that I've made a change, I need to go and um, make another snapshot. So I'll need to close the work that I'm doing, go back to my snapshots, hit the paper again. This is untitled to, and I'll go ahead and call it uh, vintage. Say okay. And now in my snapshots, I have untitled one, really, which is untouched, and then vintage two. Back to my basic panel. And if I decide, wow, I really would like the temperature to be a little bit cooler on this one, not really sure, maybe bring the exposure down or do maybe even an effect and give it more of a vignette. Now I have a whole different kind of image. Once again, go hit my snapshot, click the curled paper, and I'm going to call this this would be untitled three. I'm going to change this and it would be um, enhanced. Say OK. Now I have an absolute path showing the work that I've done and I can go back to the original if I decided that this is really where I wanted to jump off from, but I have a different version there. Really, really important thing for you to be able to uh, show work and get back to a different step. And in order to save this, you've got to say done. Remember, if you hit cancel, it wipes everything out. And you really want to be able to uh, work in Bridge easily. So I'm gonna say done and call this 
the end of how you save work that you've been doing or give you preset steps back in Camera Raw.